find his books on Amazon.com. I'm going to read you today an excerpt from the old man and the boy in the section, A Duck Looks Like a Duck to Another Duck. The old man decided that uh, since the weather was turning, that it was time to go duck hunting. And I was rather excited because I had killed my first limited quail just the week prior. Now the old man, he looked at me and he said, now you may think you done something by killing a limit of quail. Quail is all about reflexes. Singles and coveys, they get up. But duck hunting, duck hunting is something altogether different. Duck hunting is all about ballistics. Now, what's a ballistic, I asked the old man. Uh, ballistic is kind of like uh, when you, you, you look at the way the, the duck's flying, left to right, right to left, incoming or overhead, outgoing. And then you've got to factor in the gauge of the gun, the shell of the gun, the powder, the shot, the choking, the wind velocity, what direction it's coming from, the speed of the duck, and factor all those mathematical computations in quickly to determine how far you got to lead the duck. And then you got to keep that gun barrel moving if it's left to right, right to left. After you touch it off, or you're going to be shooting behind it. Well, I shouldn't even have asked the old man a question. Once I asked him a question about goose hunting. He got into discussion Napoleon's battles in the Waterloo and Andrew Jackson fighting the British down in New Orleans and saving the United States of America. He never did get back to that title about talking about the goose hunting, but he talked on for about 30 minutes, so I just sat back and just smiled and would nod my head. And after we had a good breakfast, we went on out to the banks of the Cape Fear where he kept his big skiff. And we turned it over and put it in the water and got in with the oars, life preservers and such. He said that he was going to row across and that I could row back after we hunted. It took us about two miles to get to the other side and then when we did, he put the oars inside and pulled out into an area that had a flooded, looked like to me a flooded duck pond surrounded by miles and miles of Spartina grass. Well, we like to fish out here too, so the old man, he knew the ducks would come, come in. And he had his hip boots on and I had some chest waders. He wouldn't let me get put those on until I got back over there, which I did. He said it wasn't safe crossing big water with chest weight or something. Old man knows about things like this, you know. Teaches me all kinds of stuff. Well, anyway, he said, hand me the bag of decoys, boy, and I started opening up that crocus sack of court decoys that he had spent quite some time under the elm tree and back behind the house, whittling out during the spring and summers before the fishing got good. I said to him, hey, old man, these decoys don't look like anything like a duck to me. And he stopped, and he turned around to me, and he looked at me and hard. I could see him in the moonlight. His eyes got kind of beady and narrow, and he said, a duck looks like a duck to another duck. 12-year-old boy and know about duck hunting yet. Think you know everything about quail hunting because you killed a limited quail. But again, duck hunting is different. It's a cultured sport. It's for men of gentlemen. Gentlemen. And gentlemen only hunt with side-by-sides. I got a 12 gauge, you got a nice 16 gauge. So let's learn about duck hunting. Just listen, don't talk so much, boy. So I just kept my mouth shut, drank my hot chocolate, watched the old man. He was putting out decoys, three over here and two over there, and one over here and six over there, and some on the other side of the boat. All the while I started raking in that sawgrass, kind of making blind around that boat. The water was falling a little bit. But I wasn't too worried about that. 
It appeared to be falling. The old man said it was coming up. So I just took his word. I always did. Before too long, it was shooting time. We could hear those mallets calling. He got his little call out, and he would say, quack, 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 quack. And that chuckling, that rolling, throaty chuckling. Tucka, 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 tucka. And before long, a whole flock of them came on in. After circling three or four times, I didn't think they were ever going to come in. And I put my gun way on that one green head I'd been watching. It was humongous, the biggest green head duck I'd ever seen in my life. And I pulled the trigger, and it didn't fall. It didn't fall. It flew away. The old man, he didn't even shoot his gun. I looked over. He didn't even close the chambers. It was still open. And he was laughing in the boat, and he said, I told you, boy, I told you. Duck hunting is about ballistics. Now, after you miss a few ducks, you'll see what I mean. The old man was pretty smart about things in the outdoors. I knew I had to listen to him a lot more. 